All right, guys, you guys have all seen the tour on the big box. Here's a tour on the roll cart. It's a Harbor Freight 5 drawer. Had it for a while now. Um, it does everything I need. Um, at the new shop now, work on a little bit of everything. Uh, power stroke in here right now. We got a, a Jeep right there. We're doing some work too. So it's not just trucks anymore. Um, so let's start and show you what I use uh, day to day in the roll cart. I'm borderline on the fence about uh, going to get into the bigger, the full 34, 34 inch full bank uh, cart from Harbor Freight. But right now, um, this one's lasting. It's holding up. Um, does everything I need it to do. So up here, a little magnetic tray, got the snap-on speaker up here. We do have uh, surround sound in the shop, so I don't need it a whole lot, but it does help. A um, couple different pocket flashlights. The Matco pocket pry bars are there. Caliper hangers. Uh -huh. Never need those before, but use them now. Um, coffee cup goes here in the morning. All the different lights are up here. Um, this is a new one I got. I'm actually very happy with this one. A little icon light. Um, I like it. A um, couple parts trays here. The long um, hose pick from Snap On. Uh, it fits better up there than going in the little slots and everything down here. Um, adapter set. Um, typical adapter set. It's been a long day, man, so my, my brain's a little bit fried. Got the uh, Easy Red uh, neck light here. This is the. Uh, the night buddy the tiktok famous one um that everyone has seen you know do the hoo 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 and it uh it goes on and off and i actually i love it um i have no complaints with it um up here snap on half inch air three eighths air just put them up there um uh, sometimes breaking down tires it's i use those um tire inflator here um on the side soapy bottle for uh, check for air leaks, um, gloves for doing uh, hot work and stuff like that, battery cleaner, um, some penetrating oil. This is new, I got it this week. I haven't had to use it yet. Um, the bolster, you know, organize all your little nuts and bolts when you pull them out. Um, it should be good, um, it's got good reviews. Up here, got uh, my picks, um, just a couple of them. You know, most of the stuff's over in the big box still, so, um, so snap on screwdrivers. The long three inch ratchet, the long half inch ratchet is in here. Um, driving tool, extremely long uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver, um, extendable magnet, um, pretty self explanatory. Um, three eighths metric, quarter inch metric, um, gotta have that, that extra 10. Yeah. Never know when you're gonna need it. Um, Bit sets in here, snap on torques, uh, quarter inch universals um, for uh, knock sensors, Texan. Um, I was doing airlines earlier, so there's my that's the uh, kind of thread sealant we prefer to use. Um, pens, put my wallet up here, quarter inch, three eighths, um, standard. Down here, through this rack a half inch in here. Seem to be using them, you know, quite a bit. You know, like I said, doing the smaller wheels and stuff like that. I need to pull lug nuts off of some of these trucks and uh, different stuff. The mid-length uh, quarter inch back goes. Um, e torques, torques. These are the longer ones. Um, Seven sixteenths. Some people don't understand the difference. These are you know a little bit longer than a regular deep for the uh, charge air cooler pipes. A lot of big trucks, so I leave those right up here in the top. Some drive line sockets, um, 5 8 12 point universal starter bolts. You guys know them. Um, the Mac flip socket down in here. I have the snap on 8, 10, 12, 13, 15 extensions with the sockets already on them. Uh, a couple half inch extensions down here. Um, the stubby snap on ratchet and screwdriver over here got some heel bars down in here these are the ones i bought them at harbor freight they the, the heads are just so thick on them so i'm kind of playing taking them to the grinder i thought i could you know, I, I specifically bought this one right here 
for uh, doing uh, Cummins injectors, you know, pop them out real fast. It's a little too thick to get under there, so um, I'm, I'm out, you know, 10 bucks. I'm not too worried about it. Um, snap on ratchet and screwdriver. Here's the other flat bill hose pick. Been using these more now than the, than the pick style one. I like the flat ones. Um, three of my pry bars. Oh, let's see, down here. Just throw some rags underneath there. Um, box of gloves. A razor knife up here. Keep it right in the front. Regular pocket knife. And a tape measure. Um, got a blowgun here on the side. Um, for sure. I've moved this stuff three or four times. That's why I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, you know, our shop isn't that big, but it's, it's a lot, you know, going back and forth all day long. Not, and my cart isn't always right here. I put it here to film. But that's why I'm tempted to go get the, the bigger cart so I can carry more stuff in here. You always want to have what you need or need what, have what you need at the time. Sorry. And uh, so that's why I'm tempted to go get it. These are the ratchets I keep in here right now besides the two long ones. Still got the, the Mako locking flex. If you notice, a lot of this stuff is dirty right now. A lot of these tours, they take, they polish everything all up. And I, I, got, I just got done with the day. You know, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to go home. I want to knock this out real fast. So this this is normal day's tools. They're tools. They're going to get dirty. But if you see, they can be dirty and still organized and clean and not trash at the same time. Um, just a regular short half-inch ratchet. I have this in here for a reason. I don't remember why I use it this week. Um, the uh, round head. Snap-on 3.8s. My go-to snap-on 3.8s for years. You guys know that. Um, little quarter-inch body. 3.8s drive. Snap-on as well. This one I just got a couple a couple days ago. It's a Tekton um, 3.8s, but it's, as you can see it's tiny. Um, it's, it's real equivalent to the size of a, a quarter-inch. And uh, I, I like that. Um, comes in comes in clutch. These uh, snap-on swivels are still going. Um, every once in a while you get one like that. It's a little rusty. Just throw some penetrating oil on there and spin her away. Got the uh, quarter-inch indexing ratchet. Quarter-inch bit ratchet. Just the standard uh, snap-on quarter-inch. The long snap on quarter inch and I just got this one because um, I didn't have a flex head quarter um, it's the icon one it's, it's holding up for what you need I mean it's a quarter inch ratchet I mean if you're breaking a quarter inch ratchet you're using the wrong fucking ratchet it's, it's, it's real simple bud uh, next drawer down the fluke 88 in here snap on test light um, power probe uh, temperature um, thermometer the Nico uh, Somebody asked the last time about this. It's the full hex set. You know, standard and metric. Um, leads for the fluke. Um, the bits that came with the little snap-on bit driver. Um, brake gauges for both uh, air brake and uh, regular juice brakes. This one here, not real happy with. I haven't really found an organizer I like for this. So for the time being, I make it work. Uh, throw most of my pliers in here that I need on a regular basis, you know, still. So we got these. I hate that they rust like that, man. But, you know, I tried lubing them up. It's, it's it's not surface rust. It's in there a little bit, but, you know, that doesn't affect the way they work. I, I really want a six inch pair, but I don't have a snap on man right now, so I make it work. Um, PWZ pliers, um, long cutters, oil filter pliers, uh, crimpers, my baby Nipex, um, they're usually in my pocket all day. Um, flush cuts, uh, post clamp pliers. You know the uh, these are the Mac, the Maco branded, but they're the Nipex uh, pliers wrench, the small one, and I have the big one from uh, Harbor Freight. It does the same thing. Uh, down here, I got a couple new things in here. These are the wrenches I keep in the cart. Oh, snap on uh, metric. Reversible ratcheting wrenches, standard uh, reversible ratcheting wrenches. Through these e torques in here, um, before I got the, uh, before I opened up that kit, um, they're both in here. I don't, I don't use them both obviously at the same time, but they're both in here. Um, got these Sunex stubby um, wrenches. These are standard and the metric. Um, 
people are, you know, you need the stubby wrenches, but I can't justify going out and paying huge money for them. I think for both of those two kits there, I think I might have 65 bucks in it off of Amazon. And the standard ones go from 3 8 all the way up to 1 inch. I mean, it, it's, if you know Sunex tools, I mean, they, they're they good tools. And the uh, metric ones go from 10 all the way up to 19. Then I got these ones here. Um, I bought them on a whim. Until I came here, I had never really had a need for flex head ratcheting wrenches. Um, that's just me and the owner here. And uh, he told me, he's like, oh, bud, they, they help so much, they help so much. So instead of spending good money on them off, off the bat, you know, figured I'd buy these, you know, inbred, you know, obviously they're, they're, they're imported. I don't even know where they're from, from vanadium. I don't remember that country in the Olympics, but, um. Uh, I, I paid like 25 bucks for this metric set. I only bought the metric ones to begin with because that's what everything is now. And I've had zero issues with them. They hold up real well. Um, the, t the teeth, they, they grip hard, but yet they, they flex easy. Um, they ratchet easy. So I'm, I'm very happy with them. Um, again, Amazon fine. Um, down here. Uh, you can see I, I didn't wipe everything down. You know, I, I take care of myself, but it doesn't get wiped down nightly. Um, snap on, uh, dead blow, DeWalt little um, sledgehammer there, little bash hammer, um, snap on, uh, ball peen, uh, three eighths stubby gun. Um, got the bit driver here, my long three eighths ratchet. Um, quarter inch ratchet uh, the 14-4 gun and my 14-4 drill and this is another new thing I've bought since the last one um, my 14-4 batteries are not really you know they're they're old they're not holding up to a charge anymore so I bought this guy and uh, you know it's the first Milwaukee tool I've ever bought um, I like it the it, uh, it's extremely powerful the hardest part from going from the 14-4 to Milwaukee is is the reverse and, and forward mechanism it's not you know the double trigger anymore so you know i'm losing dexterity in the two fingers <laughs> um but i like it um the the light is extremely helpful in some things um but i i love it i can't explain um definitely won't be the last milwaukee tool i buy that that's for sure um and then this is the uh for any of you guys that do the uh, dodge cummins uh, oil changes you're welcome. I hated those coming here, but they're not too bad. And then on the bottom there, you know, I got some some tape, duct tape, electrical tape, um, different kinds of sealants, um, air to oil. Um, got the uh, snap on big gun down there. Usually I put it away in my box, but it's it's down here for the night. A little filter wrench I just used. Uh, can of sea foam penetrant. A couple of ratcheting. Uh, dog, brain fart, ratcheting uh, straps, ratchet straps, um, just for tying stuff up. Um, back's pretty blank. Got the um, Harbor Freight uh, surge protector. Oh, it is time to go home. It's been a long day. Red Bull's not working. And then I got the uh, the Matco um, flexible pad uh, magnet. Um, that comes in handy a lot of times. Um, one thing I'm gonna run you over here real fast for, is I bought these since the uh, since the last video. Um, they're not the original grip mats, but um, these are first deep. I, I don't know. I bought them because they were orange. They were on uh, on Amazon, but a three piece set. I think I paid like thirty bucks for them. These these are very nice. You know, I'll take one of these. I'll come right over here and these. Stick them right up here, and you know, you're taking your your stuff apart. Put your individual sockets here. Put some parts up here. You know, whatever you need comes in handy. I mean, I'm not too worried about the non-slip part, but it's just nice. You know, instead of having a socket laying here and you know a couple bolts laying in between here. And how many times have you laid bolts up here in this track, and you know you, you lose them? Just pain in the butt. So I bought this this three-piece kit of these. Um, I like them. Um, couldn't be happier with them. Uh, right now, cleaning chemical guys nonsense uh, takes all the quick grease fingerprints and everything off of uh, 
uh, boxes than the synthetic quick detailer on both the uh, the blue box and the um, the cart and uh that's about it uh as things change and and we get new stuff you know and obviously if uh if I do upgrade and get the, the bigger cart, obviously even more stuff's going to go in the cart, opposed from the box, and uh, we'll have to do another tour. And uh, when that time comes, you guys will be the first ones to know. Thanks.